Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm-hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So I know I promised you in my last Shirley Strawberry and Ernesto video that I would not report on them anymore unless it was something major. Well, child, it's something major this time. So a few videos ago, I told you that I was contacted by a woman that told me she was Ernest's first wife and that they were still married. However, she did not send me a marriage certificate and I could not find the marriage certificate anywhere in the state of Georgia. So I let it go and we went on to discuss and discover the other three wives that Ernest has had surely included in that number well this weekend she sent me the marriage certificate and it's 100% authentic they were married in South Carolina 38 years ago and get this according to the wife and according to probate records these two are still married so what does that mean we are going to get into that and so much more but before we do please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding this case because it's a lot and so much more now let's get back into it now i know you you probably read this title and was like i know ain't no way well there is i finally got the marriage license from ernest's first wife edith They have been married for 38 years and are still currently married. So what does that mean? That means that the woman that we thought was wife number one, Miss Martha, who was married to him for 20 years, was fooled and she's now wife number two. Carol, who we thought was wife number two, is now wife number three. She was married to him for two years. She was fooled. And Shirley, who was married to him for eight years that we thought was wife number three, is now wife number four and she was fooled. And then last but not least, five out of six of his children were born to a married man if you couldn't keep up rewind it and draw yourself a family tree because i'm not going over it again let's get into this marriage license so currently six states in the u.s will allow a notary to be a wedding officiant which means that they can marry people so the states are florida montana maine nevada south carolina and tennessee so this marriage certificate says the following to whom it may concern, this is to certify that on October 22nd, 1985 at Aiken in the County of Aiken, state of South Carolina, Ernest Lavert Williams Jr. and Edith were united in bonds of matrimony by Faustine B. Burbage, a South Carolina notary public in accordance with the law of South Carolina and as shown by the records of this court. Witness my hand and seal said court this 28th day of January 2019 and it is signed and stamped by Tanya L. Marchant. So many of you may be questioning why is this dated 2019? Well this is a marriage certificate and not a marriage license. A marriage license legally allows you to marry a person so that's the document you go in and show allowing you to marry that person but a marriage certificate proves that you got married to this person so in 2019 she went in and got that certificate so she could prove that she was married to earn it. Me being me, I just had to verify this information. So we have Tanya Merchant, who is the judge of probate. It has the seal, it has the stamp, but I was like, I just want to verify. I called probate on Monday just to verify that this information I received is real, and it is. I called the clerk of court to see if there was ever a divorce, and there wasn't. So what does that mean? For the past 38 years, Ernest has been married to Miss Edith. Now from communicating with Miss Edith, the earnest that we've been told about is not the earnest that she knows. Ernest has not touched her child. Ernest has not touched her grandchildren, according to what she's told me. And I will preface this, her child's name is not on the victims list. So I knew this child was already in the clear. However, there's two other children of his whose names are on the victims list. Again, Ernest is still innocent until proven guilty, so we will have to see how that case works out. However, according to Miss Edith, she and Ernest met in the 80s, they met in college, they opened up a detailing business after graduating college, they were doing well together, but Ernest continued to cheat, and Ernest continued to lie, and she couldn't take it anymore, and she ended up exiting stage left. Now, why they decided to stay in this marriage, why they never got a divorce, I'm not sure. Ernest is quick to divorce somebody, and these women are quick to divorce him as well. However, they both stayed married to each other, and they just left it. 
Ernest continued to get married to other people several times and Ernest had to know that these marriages were not valid because he never got a divorce from Miss Edith. Obviously, Miss Edith, you saw my video about Miss Martha because you said Martha was never his first wife. I'm his first wife and legally his only wife. I said, okay, sis, Ernest is like an old spoiled onion. We keep pulling back all of these layers and his mold, his mildew, it's just surprising things, but there's always another layer. You're never finished. I honestly cannot keep up with all of the wives right now. I'm over here counting and adding them up like I'm DMX. There was Edith, Martha, Carol, Shirley, counted about four that he treated all worldly. What are we doing, Ernest? Make it make sense. Like, please, make it make sense. This man has allegedly committed bigamy now three times, marrying Martha, Carol, and Shirley, all while still married to Edith. I don't know what it is about this man that got these women ready to risk it all at some point in their life, but they're acting like... Now, as far as bigamy goes in the state of Georgia, this is indeed a felony and you can be convicted for being a bigamist, but you can also be convicted for marrying a bigamist when you knew that person was married already. You can also face between one to 10 years imprisonment. So my thing is this, Ernest not only put his own freedom in danger, but he has risked the freedom of these other three women as well. Now you actually tried to file for divorce for Martha when you were in jail. Carol didn't give you a chance to cause sis was gone in the blink of an eye. So what made you stay married to Edith? And Edith, what made you go and get that marriage certificate 34 years after marrying Ernest? I have so many questions. Okay, Shirley and everybody else, so listen close. We know about three marriages Ernesto has had, not including the marriage to Shirley. And out of those three marriages, two of those marriages overlap the marriage that he has with Shirley, although only one of the marriages out of the two are legally binding. And that marriage has lasted 38 years, Shirley. What are you doing? I need someone in law in Georgia to really tell me what can Shirley do at this standpoint in time. Is she allowed to testify against him now if it goes to trial? What legal process does she have to go through to get out of this marriage? And many people in my comments have been asking, will she get any of her property back? I personally do not think so. As far as the rental properties go, she lost them because of non-payment. And as far as the truck, according to Ernesto, that truck was in his business name, not in Shirley's name, so she doesn't get that either. But you guys can tell me in the comments what you think. What I need to do is hear from you. What do you think about everything going on with Ernesto? And what do you think about this new wife that we found out about of 38 years leave a comment and you know how we do we'll talk about it down below talk to you guys later bye as always thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes